Hello, adventurers. Welcome back to Harvestella. We are about to enter the Ostrom Helix Research Facility. I cannot wait to see what we're going to learn in this location. Ooh, we got different enemies. We're definitely in the cityscape now. Oh, what are we going to learn? Looks like we've got like mono light looking stuff here, too. Where are we? This is the Ostrom Helix Research Facility, a place where humans used to study the life of the star. The life of the star? This is the research center I belong to. Be belong to, to, rather. Jabberwocky, please tell me what happened here. I wouldn't know. I've been in Eden my whole life. But if we found some data logs that were still alive, I could analyze them. So you're saying we have to keep going if we want to find the truth. If that's what you want. Hmm. Well, it's too late to turn back now, no matter which reality awaits us. Ooh. Planetary Life Tower. Oh, I'm so excited. So much to explore. Why am I so full? <laughs> did I eat a million and five meals during that uh, boss battle? I think I did. Promised fruit. Ooh. Ride elevator. You need to unlock a destination before you can use the elevator. Ooh, okay. So we're going to have a multi-floor dungeon situation. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Very high tech. What's going on? You good? Huh. This looks like a monolight, you know, sees light rather. Ooh. Frost element, Labrador. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. So we've seen these cryo tubes before in Heaven's Egg. Tiella was in one of those. Wow. All of this is just broken down. Vegas. All right, this is our a new robot that we've come in contact with. Oh, it's got shields. Oh, interesting. Trap liquid. I'm still kind of of the belief that maybe Arya's parents like set this up for her to come back and maybe maybe make a future for humanity that she was the only one that could be saved and you know oh okay unlocks the elevator we now have one floor Ari has joined us the t the enemies I was about to say the animals <laughs> the enemies in this area are pretty tough oops well good Something crumbling, something glistening in the crumbling debris. Huh. Take apart from the broken machine? Yes. Black plate. All right. We love, we love finding some goodies, even if it results in us having to take on a little bit more of a fight. Oh, here we go. Can Jabberwocky get some data for us? This console is still alive. I can restore its data. Should I, Arya? Data log restored. Huh. Wait, is this the sea slide? So is it, this is the false sea light, right? We called this crystallized mass the Red Queen. This research facility was built as a place to study it. So that means sea light still exists in your time period. It does look a lot like the thing you call sea light. I don't know if the Red Queen and the Sea Slate are the same thing or not, but the Red Queen is a symbol of disaster to me. This crystal suddenly landed right in the middle of a city and crashed through the Earth's crust. Then the disaster followed. What kind of disaster? After the Red Queen appeared, the world was covered in shiny particles. We called it Gaia Dust. Breathing in large amounts of Gaia Dust would kill you, 
Eventually, the whole world got engulfed in its shimmer. This sounds like quietus. Yeah, sounds just like the phenomenon you call quietus. Ah, so they were studying this thing after it also appeared in their... in their time. Oh, just more and more information to consider as we explore. So maybe they sent Arya back with the information she had to try to preserve what was left of humanity? Give her more time? That would make sense, right? Seems like this Red Queen has kind of taken over the building, too. I mean, there's these little offshoots everywhere it seems so it's not just contained to one area it seems like it's just taken over the facility altogether whoop that scared me all right here's another elevator unlock all right and we continue upward oh there's a spot to repair here i did make a couple of repair kits let's see through what's through here some enemies this might just be a shortcut option. Ah, oh, lead you to some treasure chests. Oh, okay. Here's our quest marker. A couple of the screens in the facility seem to be working. Still monitoring the Red Queen. Jabberwocky gonna interface again for us. Oh, yeah, this console over here looks like it still has some video data on it. Could you play it, please? Captain, I think we can get inside it from here. This is so frustrating. We wouldn't have to do this if we just sent drones in from the beginning. Sadly, that's not an option anymore. All of our drones broke down as soon as they approached it. Take it up with Her Majesty the Queen. Yeah, yeah. It's quite deep, though. What shall we do, Captain? Oof. I'll go in it first. You guys wait here. Contact headquarters if I don't make it back. Is he gonna just repel down? Why do I sense a presence? Is there someone down here? This is Silfrey 1 speaking. Access to Red Queen attained. Sending footage. T meant. Ooh. Seems like we don't have communication. The Gaia dust is too thick. I can't communicate with headquarters. Silfrey 2, safety confirmed. Come down. Silfrey 3, stay there. Understood. So they're inside this thing? This appears to be the very center of the Red Queen. What's this? I've never seen material like it. Should we take some with us? Yeah, go ahead and collect those samples. What is it? How odd. Gaia dust is not as dense around here for some reason. Don't take your helmet off! It's Aria. It's still Gaia dust. I don't want to look at it through glass. I need to see it with my own eyes. Captain. Is this the Astrum cell? Oh! What was that? That was the angel girl that we've been seeing, but she was dressed in black. This is Sofrey 3, emergency. Red Queen is showing signs of activity. What? It wasn't meant to happen yet. Well, it is. Shoot, Captain, we have to retreat. Who are you? Ah. Oh. So she's been to the center of the Red Queen before. Does she remember this information, though? In the recording. Wasn't that you, Arya? Yes, that was me. We had identified a material inside the Red Queen that had been causing abnormal waves. We went in to investigate. Abnormal waves? 
Yes, we called the material the Astrum Cell. I put myself forward to be captain of the investigation. That video was a recording of when we arrived at the Astrum Cell, I think. What is the Astrum Cell? No one really knows. I only know of a theory that it's where the planet's genes are stored. So that's how your investigation ended. Was it left unfinished? I'm not too sure of that either. My memory of what happened during the Red Queen assignment is hazy. Okay, so she can't remember everything. To be fair, you didn't seem yourself in that video. I may have been hallucinating or something. It's hard to believe that was me. What was I looking at? Hmm, Arya. You sound like you've never seen this recording before. I haven't. This is the first time I've seen it. Ah. Uh, goodness. I think this is what happened. By some unexplainable phenomenon, I must have time-traveled into your time period just after this was recorded. To me, what happened in that recording is the last thing that happened before I woke up in Rosalind's house. I see. That is how it appears from your timeline. Right. That's why I have no idea how the rest of the Astrum Cell research went after that. By judging by the looks of the research center, it doesn't look good. But still... No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. We should be able to find out why I traveled back in time if we search through the records. And find out what caused the disaster that led me to me time traveling. I have to know what happened. Hmm. I'm glad she's got all of us there with her, though. It's not just her by herself with Jabberwocky or Dianthus. Seraph Memorial Garden. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Go ahead and save as we go into this new area. Let's see what we can get into. More pieces of the Red Queen. More monsters. Oh, yeah. I mean, this stuff's spreading. Oh, and it does it hurt? Oh, it hurts! Oh. Wow, okay, I didn't know that. Alright, do not touch the Red Queen. Note to self. Makes total sense. Are we going to get more information on the Red Queen? I think so. We found out that it's still producing Gaia dust. Or something harmful to us, for that matter. Jabberwocky's got it on. This one's still alive as well. The data here are continuation of the last recording. It's tagged Red Queen Investigation Team. Which means this is a recording of what happened after I left. The person had just disappeared without a trace. I imagine that would have caused quite a commotion. This one's a voice recording. Ready? I'm going to start it. Examinee Childhood 1 is yet to regain consciousness. Brainwaves appear normal, so why won't the examinee wake up? We hypothesize that the examinee has lost consciousness, but their body is functioning normally. I wouldn't indulge such nonsense as the 21 grams theory, but it does seem inconceivable that human consciousness requires certain conditions. Even with the modern medicine, we have been unable to ascertain how the human consciousness, namely the sense of self, came into existence. According to evolutionary psychologist James, the sense of self developed in humans in order to compensate for physical weakness. In physical strength, we are inferior to monkeys, but in developing the self, we acquired a means of carrying our experiences forward into the future. But that doesn't really matter. I can't take any more of this. Will the world never hear her voice again? Or be moved by her great mind again? She's just going to keep being used as a tool to understand the Red Queen. That's the end. Didn't sound like there was much of a commotion. That voice was... Her mom? Dad? So she was unconscious in this time period. And they were attempting to wake her. Oof. Okay, more of this nastiness. 
keep continuing forward. Hopefully there's more logs for us to understand what's going on. Ooh, I have to cross some of this. Here we go. Another elevator to unlock and we continue upwards. Oh, have we gotten to the top? Oh, okay, that's that scared me. Let's go ahead and eat this. I was not prepared for for this. Okay. Didn't realize that we were so close to Yee! Kind of a, a a boss situation. Can can we even fight this guy? Seems like we're doing okay as long as we stay out of his yeah. AoE attacks. So it's obvious that life on this this planet or star or whatever you want to call it still exists and it's possible. It's just not human life. There he goes. You gonna give me anything? Premium meat. Okay. Cool. Ah, uh, what's it gonna tell us next? More info? Maybe? Another recording for us to see? It said Gaia dust there on the monitor. There's another recording here by the same researcher. Could you play it, please? It has been decided that we will vacate the research facility. Where we will go next is unknown. We now leave the continuation of our kind to the Seth. This is the end for humanity. We've become a species that can't sustain ourselves, like livestock. But it's our own fault for not managing to live properly as humans. Intelligence is dangerous, and we are unable to keep it under control. Couldn't even avoid a third world war. So we have no choice but to surrender control to them. I did all I could as a scientist. I won't wish for you to wake up. I'm tired of wishing for things that won't come true. But I do wish I'd had just one more chance to be a dad to you again. Oh, daddy. Childhood one, I mean, my sweet daughter, Arya. Aww. That's the end of the recording. Was he talking about you? That was Arya's father speaking. But that's... No, that can't be right. Look at me, I'm here in your time period alive and well. So why did he say I wasn't waking up? Maybe I didn't disappear from that time period mid-investigation after all. Then... But then who is this me here now? Calm down. You are real, Arya Leventhal. I can confirm that to you. Dianthus, you know what happened, don't you? Answer me. Tell me what happened. I know you know everything. Where did everyone go? Where are my mom and dad? They left the country and transferred to another department, right? Where are they? Allow me to answer that. Geist? Shouldn't you be dead? Did you crawl back out of hell? I know what you're thinking, though I wish you'd give me a break with those trite responses of yours. I am not the same geist as the one that menaced you before. My personality is totally different. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. We're not good at analogies, I'm afraid. In any case, I must apologize for what my former self did to you. I'm sorry. He does sound like a completely different person, but it could be a trap. It's not. He has a different personality from the guys who tried to destroy the world. How could he have a different personality? What do you mean? I will explain it as we go along. Now, Arya, I would answer your question, but it's better that you see for yourself. If you want to know what happened here and where humanity went after that, you should go to the place where it all started. You mean the top floor? Yes, we have no time for indecision. Let us keep moving. Okay, so we have a different version of Geist. Does that mean we're going to get a different version of Arya as well? And now I'm starting to wonder, are we are we just a program like Tiella? <laughs> are we just a program? <laughs> like, are we AI where paradise hatches? Uh, like, I'm just... Because we... Because uh, we appeared kind of mysteriously as well. It's not like... We just were human in that time period. So now I, I'm not sure even if we're human at all. Coral has contacted Red Queen, but her investigation bears no results. 
However, she did learn that consciousness is extremely special. Explaining activity of the spirit is difficult without first suggesting the existence of the soul. Girl continues to sleep as though all she has lost is her soul, as if it were some new form of living. Ah, huh, so they're still watching Arya. Gosh, you've got to have food for this area. You're just constantly taking damage. I feel like I've prepared, you know, a ton of food, but it's just not enough. I also didn't realize that you could fall off of these until just now. <laughs> you fell into the Red Queen stuff and took damage, and I was like, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Vanilla doll! Gona, gona. Oh, okay, here's another panel. I want to read this. Girl seems to have come to be known as Childhood One. One would assume this represents the pre-evolutionary juvenile stages. The name amuses the romanticism of the academics who absurdly wish to keep a positive outlook on the situation, assuming her parents. As the only one in contact with the Astrum cell, she will become a test subject as she receives treatment. If the world were at peace, this would be considered a violation of human rights. I understand the powerlessness of our civilization now that the world is on the verge of destruction. But why? Why are we? Why was the world on the verge of destruction? That's, that's the question I have. I've gotten to a really frustrating part here where... It's just over and over again, you've got to climb this long section of the building that's broken into pieces. And you have to jump down through specific parts of the building, but with every single one that you jump through, you're either landing in Red Queen or landing in Red Queen. And this is the fifth time that I've had to go up these stinking stairs and I'm about to lose my mind because I don't have extra food to keep doing this. And it's very annoying because it takes like a whole three minutes to get back to the top and I just get hit by things every single time. And I run out of stamina. <laughs> okay, finally made it through that section. We got another terminal. Evolutionary psychology supposes that the soul had no choice but to arise. That it did so for the sake of human survival after it mutated into a weaker form. Then perhaps it is she who is without a soul that is at the forefront of the evolutionary genealogical tree. We currently see the soul of Seth as having intelligence that far surpasses our own. Then is the soul a cap for the mind, our intellectual potential tethered. We are thus bound by our past, by war. Is that not the end we now face? Looking at the Red Queen, I feel as if that's what it is trying to tell us. Hmm. So they gave the Seth, aka the Omen, the power to control humanity because they have no soul. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. We're getting into quite a lot of lore and I need to make food like nobody's business. And I keep having to spend money on doctor's fees because I keep dying. But we'll make some more recipes and get right back to the research in there. Oh, I think we've made it to the top here, finally. Ugh, let me activate this elevator before we go through the store, because if I have to do that one more time, I might have to stop playing through the day. It's that aggravating. Oh, thank goodness. Now I don't have to do that five more times. Yay! Yeah, We can actually see what's through the door. We're at the top of the tower now? Summit, okay, yes. Activate. Save. Yes. Let's go. What are we going to learn? Ooh. Something. Oh, we got a boss battle. Are you serious? Uh, I'm not really ready for a boss battle. This should be the top floor. What are those? What are those? Those are my crocs. What is that? People with wings. So some of Paradise's monsters were left here, were they? I'll take the front line. Rosalind, you and your team pummel the big guys. You really they think we're going to trust you. Well, you won't be able to take on such a large group of them by yourself. It would be wise to join forces. I think we should take Geist's word on this one, Rosalind. I agree. Let's get him. 
Okay. Okay, interesting. So, macrophage, okay, interesting. Uh, again, we're only given Arya and Aesol. I think this is going to require me bringing those orbs into battle. Remember how we did that for Geist? I think that's going to help me here. It looks like ice and fire might be the weak points for this boss. So if we don't have any luck with this first attempt, I'll go make some of those and come back and we'll try a second attempt. Well, Aesol and Arya are taking the majority of the damage for me, bless their hearts. But it's kind of good because if they can keep aggro, that would be nice. Okay. Oh, it's got a shield. Okay. Resist. Okay, get rid of that. Oh, uh, we got another one over here. Can you get off me with your AoE? Please. Thank you. Here we go. Don't aggro me. Yeah, pay attention to Arya and Aesol, please. Let's do some specials. Gotta get it out of the way. Here we go. Oh, it's gearing up for a special, I think. What does B and G mean? Since when do we have specials? We have specials now? Cool. Oh, get out of that. I, that's the first time I've seen that. Have you guys seen that before? And I've just not seen it in a boss battle. I didn't notice it in, in the last episode either. Get out of the way, 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 get out of the way. We seem to be doing decent, actually. I, I don't know if this guy's going to have a phase two, though. <gasps> Yee. Okay. Got stunned a little bit. Get behind him and this will fix that problem. We can do bolt impulse. Get behind him. Ooh, Electro again. All right, we got a break. Ah, guards. Oh, uh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yes. All right, guys. Try again. You gotta get out. Eesh. Yes, okay. Yes. Let's indeed aim for a break. Is this gonna do it? Arya and Aesol are on their last stretches here. There we go! Yes! Oh, I can't believe we did that without orbs. Are we gonna have a I bet you we're gonna have a phase two though. Just what is this thing though? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Nope, oh, guys got it. That wasn't proof of trust. I'm not sure what would be. I couldn't allow any of you to die. Not a single life should go to waste. Thank you, guys. No need to thank me. This also benefits me. There shouldn't be any more obstacles from now on. Excuse me, Supervisor of Paradise. Could you read the data on that terminal for me, please? We might cause a bug in the ethical circuit if we try and read it. I might end up like my old personality again as well. Sure. Ah, so Jabberwocky looks over all of this. Is this what ruined your old personality? I believe it played a part. Why did you bring us here? What has this place got to do with us? 
Your people can't be free from the world either. How do you think your world was created? I'll show you. The data is finished loading. Paradise Journal, The Race to Heaven. It says it's a storytelling program that describes paradise on Earth from start to finish. Well then, Arya, let's start by clearing up one pivotal understanding. Which misunderstanding? Your theory that you experienced some kind of time disaster while you were investigating the Red Queen and time traveled to an earlier period. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, Supervisor, could you tell us what time we're in according to the Paradise Journal? Result. This is approximately 77... What? 57 million 600 thousand? That is the year AD 4108 when converted to the human calendar. Huh? Arya, what time period were you living in? It was AD 2078. But hold on, that still doesn't disprove my theory. That could just mean that the pod was a time machine and I came into the distant future instead. That would explain why everything is in such disrepair now. That theory would be viable if the pod was a time machine. But it has no such function. It does not travel through time. How can you be sure of that? Because it was we who designed the pod. In the end, time travel was never possible through human science, so we've never been switching time? And humans forbade us from researching it. It was one of the three major thought regulations we could not break. Why would humans forbid that? What exactly are your kind capable of? I'm sorry, what? How did I end up in the past then? I got caught in a time disaster, didn't I? There's no such thing as a time machine. There was no time disaster, either. You've never time-traveled, Arya. You're not a person from the future who has come back to the past, but rather a person from the past who has just moved forward in time in a linear fashion. What? But, but how? What about Rosalind's time? What's that, then? It's simple. You didn't travel through time. You traveled through space. That only leaves one answer. The star we are all on right now is the one where there is Sea's Light and the Castle of Illusion. Are two different planets. Yes! Okay. I thought so! I thought so! This planet is Lost Gaia. It is the Earth where humans originated and which they abandoned during what was called the Common Era. It has been 2,000 years since humanity left. This is historical fact. It cannot be reversed. Humanity since suspended its research into time. Time can only travel from the past into the future. What has happened cannot be reversed, and history cannot be rewritten to suit anyone. Arya. The world you lived in was lost 2,000 years ago. She's been asleep. It's a cryopod, not a time... <gasps> Not a time pod. Like a, a time travel device. They put her in cryo. She never woke up. You're saying that the time I lived in was 2,000 years ago, and right now is 2,000 years later? Exactly. You haven't time traveled. You're not a person from the future who has traveled back in time. If anything, you came from the past. But does that mean that Arya has been alive for 2,000 years? That's ridiculous. People can't live that long. That is correct. All your cells divide repeatedly. The telomeres will wear out and die after 100 years at most. That's correct. As a biologist, I can confirm. This is why we age. That is the human lifespan. So that is why we were built, to ensure that humanity survives on into the future. Built. What does that mean? We, Seth, who you call omens, are a model of high-level artificial intelligence. In other words, we are a form of intelligence that was built by humans that surpasses human intellect. Like Heinz machine, you're an artificial life. Like those giant puppets we saw in the Divine Sea Slight Cave and Phantasmagoria. Those are fairly antiquated models, but yes, they're along the same lines. This can't be true, you... It is true, Arya Leventhal. We are the latest generation of high-level artificial intelligence that your kind created by their own design. Although we are far more high-spec than the ones from your time period, 
The people of Lost Gaia entrusted us with the preservation of humankind. Hmm. That is also documented in the Paradise Journal. In order to attain the continuation of the species, humanity, which was on the verge of extinction, outsourced most of its intellectual and scientific development to artificial intelligence. They thought that AI would be able to figure out a better way to preserve humanity with their superior intelligence. So they decided to outsource one of their most basic biological functions to the Seth, the continuation of the species. They outsourced their continuation to AI? I can't believe it. Would humans come to such a decision? The Paradise Journal is unequivocally accurate. It is locked with triple A of protection to prevent tampering. But wait, does that mean it was your kind who kept me alive all this time? That is correct. So then you should be able to answer this too. What, what happened to everyone else? You're right. I could answer that. And you have the right to know. So I intend to tell you. You don't have any objections to that, do you, Dianthus? No, let's invite them to the Orbital Cradle. The Orbital Cradle? I feel like I've heard of that somewhere before. You should understand all of our plans when you get there. Huh. Where is this Orbital Crater? Crater. Leave Lost Gaia and go back to the original planet, then head to the Castle of Illusion. Ooh, okay, so we're switching planets. So I was right that this is actually a different planet. And they moved humanity to a different planet under the protection of this, this AI, the Seth or Omen. And they were attempting to protect humanity from technology by essentially creating this false idea that the Omen were evil because they, it was technology was misunderstood. And if humans understood technology again, the world would end again. Makes sense. Makes sense. So now we have to go back home, back to the Castle of Illusion, which is the headquarters for the Omen, and figure out what, what exactly the whole plan was and how everything has been set in motion and where everybody else is. I still haven't answered the question of who we are, who Tiela was, and why we were kind of teleported into this time period where we were just chosen by the Omen, by the Seth, or what? We still don't, we don't have answers to that. So there's just so much. <laughs> there's so much. I'm going to take a break and give my brain a, a little bit of uh, a breather from all of this lore. You can check out another video from me right here on the screen, and I'll see you next time for more Harvestella. Bye!